Look at this fish. Food on the island of Sardinia is unlike anywhere else on Earth. Check out the size of this loaf of bread. With just 24 hours on the second biggest island in the Mediterranean Sea, I wanted to find out what exactly is Sardinian food and mm. what makes it so special. To find out, we'll have a seafood lunch on a rustic fishing boat. Oh, man. The entire sea is in my mouth right now. Experience an endangered Sardinian cooking tradition. The challenge of doing suckling pig is that you never know how the pig is going to actually come out. And taste an illegal shepherd's cheese that even I'm nervous to try. Wow. Literally just goes into your brain. It's going to be wild. Let's go eat Sardinia. Hey everyone, good morning. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens and welcome to the gorgeous island of Sardinia in Italy in the Mediterranean. We are about to meet up with some local fishermen who are gonna take us on a fishing trip. Hopefully we'll catch some fish and some seafood and then they're gonna cook, we're gonna eat on the boat. Buongiorno. 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 Hi. And here's our boat. This is real deal, proper fishing boat. Buongiorno. Hi. Here we go. On to the boat. Okay. John, what's the, what's the plan? Where are we at? Uh, so we're in Cagliari, okay, the capital of Sardinia. And we're in the Golfo di Cagliari with some of the most important local fishermen who go out every day and, and catch uh, the local catch, basically. And we're going to have a meal on board. And we're going to go on the Golfo di Cagliari. Cagliari has a, a, a beach which goes seven kilometers all the way down, and it's called La Spiaggia da Centomila, the 100,000 people beach. Whoa, seafood. Oh, langoustines or what are those called? Scampi? Scampi. Scampi, okay, scampi. Okay, that's much better. Nice. Okay. So we are going to go fishing, but we do have a little backup seafood just in case. Some scampi, some calamari, oh, some bread, some pasta. Uh, I mean, you never know. You never know what you're going to get on a fishing trip. This is cooked already. This is ready to consume before we set out. Well, no. Or not yet. This okay. is the base <laughs> for la fregua. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we still need to make that into it. So in Cagliari they say fregola. In the towns, small towns in the Southern Islands, it's called fregua. Ah. Safregua. And those are like little ball pastas? This is uh, semolina like. and water. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, and there's more. Lobsters. Amazing. Bright orange lobsters. Oh. Our fishing has been successful. <laughs> Seafood before we Let's head out. We don't need to go fishing now. <laughs> so, like, so like in uh, Marsilla, okay? The way we make a, a fish soup, like a bouillabaisse, our version, la sacassuola, is the local fish. Okay, so you're almost are, are always going to have this in your fish soup. Okay, and then this is, it is a, a lionfish. Lionfish, or is it a rockfish? Or? Yeah, it's a rockfish. A rockfish, okay. Yeah, and then you have a mullet. Nice, okay. okay? And this is a little San Pietro, a Saint Peter. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Look at this fish. San Pietro fish. This is gonna go into our seafood fisherman style seafood stew, uh, Sardinia style. And man, we have so much seafood. I mean, we almost don't need to go fishing. We're moving, we're on the way. More seafood. Oh, nice. Looks like some uh, more calamari, small fish. All oh, this fish will be fried? Yeah. I've never met a fried fisher in love. You go fishing and you get so much. Okay. Dorgo. This is the cozy kitchen back here. So chef is getting started. The lobsters, the scampi, gonna make the pasta as well and all the fish, fried fish. What a kitchen. Oh, 
Oh. Wow. Oh, the aroma. Chef is preparing the, the seafood steak. So you boiled up that, that fresh seafood, the scampi, the shrimp, the calamari, boiled it with tomato sauce. Um, and now he's adding in some of the fish, some of the rock fish go in. Found it. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, it's like a pillow sized bread. <laughs> Check out the size of this loaf of bread. Oh, oh it's the size it of can, my head. It can hide Mr. Taster, it's that big. <laughs> it's like a pillow. <laughs> Literally is a pillow sized bread. <laughs> Aragosta la Catalana. Okay, so Catalan uh, Aragosta. Oh, okay. Typical dish from Barcelona. Onion, tomato, Aragosta, and olive oil. With the lobsters. Yes. 400 years. Yes. Wow. Lo devo, lo taglio a pezzettini. Ita. Where il carciofo. Oh, the fresh squeezed oh. olive oil. Questo o no? Oh, so the lobsters, tomatoes, onions, fresh olive oil. The fresh squeeze. You can see how vibrant and green it is. So I dare you in Sardinia to find a dish with more than four ingredients. Yeah? Yes. Four ingredients. More than we usually have. Every a piece of garlic, some olive oil, a protein, and maybe a vegetable. That's it. That's it. Very Sardinia. Rare Sardinia find more than four, four ingredients. ingredients. Oh, must. This is the artichoke that's been marinating in lime juice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's amazing. Slightly bitter. Really crispy. Oh, the flavor keeps on coming. So, Mark, uh, in Sardinia, we have a special type of artichoke. Uh -huh. It's called carciofo spinoso. It's very rich in iron, and uh, we do many things with artichoke. Botarga with artichoke. Mm. So, artichoke and fish eggs. And that's the, the fish eggs preserved, salted, or oh, botarga. Botarga and carciofi. How many ingredients are in there? Four. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Finish with olive oil. Good answer, huh? And over on this side of the kitchen, he's putting semolina onto the seafood. That's how they, they fry seafood in Sardinia style. Oh. Eduardo, nice move. Yeah. Wow. Perfecto. Oh. oh, that seafood broth is incredible. With the tomato. Can I have it? Oh man, it's good. Can I have one more? Yes. Mm. Mm. The crunch of that artichoke and the olive oil, the saltiness of the botaga. Mm. <laughs> That's amazing. As John was mentioning, Sardinian food is super simple. Maximum four ingredients. And that's like proven right there. Focusing on freshness, quality, and like not complexity. But I mean, when your ingredients are this fresh, that's what you need. Artichoke, botarga, olive oil. That's it. Boom. Mm. That is so good. Yeah, look at us. Oh. And couldn't be in a more beautiful place. <laughs> Here it is, the cassola. That's the famous cassola from Cagliari. Oh, oh man. Eduardo, thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow, the muscularity. It's so, so muscular. It's so sweet. I do want to chase with some of those onions, though. Those onions are just so yeah. good. Right? Yeah, unbelievable. Onion the, the onions are incredible. Yeah. Never had that crispy and sweet onion. 
Oh man, the lobster is amazing. So perfectly cooked, muscular, it's so sweet. Oh, whoa! <laughs> That's you got it on <laughs> Were you filming? <laughs> it's the first time I've ever been hit in the head with bread. Hi. Going in for some of that fish. And then, then that sauce on the bottom there. Okay. Fish, sauce all together. Mm-hmm. The fish is? The fish is translucent. The fish is incredible. Melt in your mouth. Mm. We got tomato sauce with that hint of spice. Cooked perfectly. Chef made sure not to overcook that. Unbelievable. Mm. Paradise. Look where we are. Paradise. Stunning place. Stunning, Stunning. place. Stunning. Hey, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> you know, it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. So now, beautiful day in Cagliari, on the boat with friends sharing a cassuola and oh my gosh, look what I found, a big scampi. And you know what the first thing you do with the big scampi? Touch your head, baby. Mm. Mm. An explosion of flavors. Got one of the scampis. Take off the head. Oh, that was a splatter. Suck the head from the, from the suck the juices from the head. Mmm. Oh, wow. The complexity of flavor just bursting in your mouth. Man, that's good. That's like a, a scampi soup plus tomato sauce just embedded. Oh, wow. Mmm. Absolutely stunning. And here we go, the body. Body. Oh, the juices. You can kind of crack that and then I think break it from the bottom side. Yeah, revealing the sweet meat on the inside. Mm. Yeah, it really is incredibly sweet. So good. The fried yes. of the goat, the Whoa. poor fish is the best fish. Fried fish Poor platter. fish is best fish. The fried calamari. Wow. Oh God. Oh. This is amazing platter oh of fried God. seafood covered, dusted in semolina flour. Fried until golden crispy. Okay, wow. Oh, man. Oh, wow. The freshness. The crispiness. That guy in the kitchen knows what he's doing. Yeah, seriously. I don't know about the fisherman, but. Chef is incredible. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Salty, crispy, everything you could <laughs> want in, in life. Povero. Hey, yeah. Oh man. Crispiness, the crispiness? Out of the floor. Wow. 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 That is stunning. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. That is the plate of the meal. Yep. Unbelievable. Floating around in the Mediterranean Sea off the island of Sardinia, eating the freshest catch of the day, cooked to perfection. This is something. Truly memorable. Disaster, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We didn't catch a thing. We were supposed to go catching, didn't catch a thing, or didn't even try to go fishing. But it doesn't even matter. No. Okay. Okay. One biter. Oh wow, man. Oh, it's so good, so soft. Crunch. The bone is so soft. Oh, it's really, really tasty. Nice. The pasta has arrived. The pasta has arrived. And that was cooked Regula. in the broth so, of the seafood. Or, yes. as many people say in Sardinia, fregua. Fregua. Sa fregua. It's a typical Sardinian ancient pasta, and it's made from semolina and water and salt. That's it. Yeah, that was worth it. Was... Oh. Can you do it or not? Well, wow. Eat something. No. I love the texture. Right. Oh, man. The tomato broth. Blood the seafood flavor. <laughs> from all that seafood being Take boiled in that tomato sauce. Mmm. Okay. Delicious. Eduardo is yes, sir. concocting over here. He's squeezing out the head. All oh, the scampi head. We squeezed the heads of the scampi into the fregola, oh. and we added a little bit of the fish. 
from the original stock. You're a great man, Eduardo. Mmm. Mmm. That's just magnified the flavor. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. What a seafood meal. So it wasn't exactly a fishing trip, but it was a nice boat trip and uh, some amazing, like the food was surprisingly delicious. Cooked on the boat, that fried squid calamari was probably the, the highlight of the entire meal. From here, we're driving uh, to an agriturismo, uh, kind of like a, an outdoor lodge where a man is then gonna prepare for us a traditional Sardinian meal for dinner tonight. Hello. He says he's, it's a jealous dog because oh. he just does this too. He's always oh. hey, always. Hey, thanks for bringing us, man. What are we cooking here? We're cooking, we're cooking a suckling pig. It's a Sardinian tradition, um, but we've lost the tradition of cooking suckling pig underground. Mm. And Michele is one of the few people uh, on the island who still do it. Um, it takes around 12 hours to cook. Whoa. And the reason why you would cook a suckling pig was you didn't want anybody to see you, okay? So, you know, this was a land of bandits, okay? And there were feuds, and so there are many reasons why you wouldn't want to be seen um, and, and this is the origin of the suckling pig. Ah, uh, and why it was cooked underground. Yes. Okay. Michele was uh, the first person in Sardinia who coined his wines volcanic. You know, the Sicilians were very good with Etna and everything. You know, Sardinia, it's the, one of the oldest lands in Europe. It is actually the oldest piece of land in Europe. That's it's volcanic. Cool. Yes. Cool. And we're in front of an extinct volcano. And then you can see here, this is, you know, you look at, oh, look yeah. at, you know, it's, it's, and Michele's wines are very minerally, you'll see. They're just absolutely volcanic wines. The other, the other thing I was telling you about when we do a suckling pig in Sardinia is we have wonderful wood. Uh, so the two bushes uh, that give off a wonderful um, aroma, one is called Lentisco mastic with the myrtle branches and the lentisco branches. You will see when you eat the, the suckling pig tonight or maybe tomorrow morning, <laughs> depending on how long <laughs> this takes, uh, you will see that uh, you will f uh, taste all that all those aromas of that. Oh man. A difference between the suckling pig underground and the suckling pig that we just usually use as a ro rotisserie is you will see, since this is a slow cook, and you cover it, it just, it, it, it just kind of melts off the bone. That's one of the most beautiful fires you'll ever see, just crackling away that wood and the aroma coming off of it from all the different woods burning. And so now we're just gonna wait, I think, till that heats up uh, before we load the pig. Oh, just snapping some myrtle berries, if you wanna taste it. It's very balsamic. It's fairly, fairly bitter. <laughs> we, we actually make a very nice myrtle jam, but you use quince. Oh, okay. You wouldn't do it 100% myrtle. Mm. And this, he's gonna stuff, stuff the pig with this, his, his, with this herb? Yes, it's almost impossible in Sardinia to have maialetta without myrtle. So myrtle is always allora, on, the, on the cork. Oggi a cena vi faccio mangiare e vi faccio bere un myrtle bianco. Can I try this one or this one? Oh, all of them? Same. All of them? Same. Okay. Same. So you almost mm. always, with the red wine, taste the balsamic. This is balsamic. Mm. And you almost always have this in our red wines. A little chalky, a little juniper-y almost. Mm. Mm. Excellent. Yeah, very good. Sardinian cuisine 
is extremely simple compared mm -hmm. to Sicilian cuisine, which can be very, a lot of ingredients kind of busy. Um, and this is it, exactly what you said, from the bush to the mm -hmm. you know table. That's what they specialize in. Yes, that's yes, super everything simple. local. Yeah, and this is just going to be you know the, the mirto, uh, the the pig and salt. That's mm. it. The herb pot. Oh, the rosemary. Rosemary, Oh, it's going to go in too. Oh, oh yes. Wow. Yes. Oh, another giant pot of herbs. Backyard herbs. Some more getting stuffed into the pig. Yeah, it's so long. Whoa. Look how long it is. So he's taking salt in there. Ormai è lavato, è pulito. Is closing the stomach? Non tutti lo sanno fare perché hanno poca esperienza. I asked Michele why, why they don't do this anymore in Sardinia. He says it, it takes too much time. Mm. Um, a lot of people don't know how to do it anymore. And it's just too expensive. Non vogliamo perdere tempo. We don't want to lose, lose time. Mm. When I come to Michele's, I often come like 10 or 11 in the morning. And, uh, e poi, siccome sottoterra, okay. eh, è bello, sappiamo come ce l'abbiamo messo, ma non vediamo mai come viene dopo. <laughs> said, non abbiamo un termometro per well, controllare. When you cook a suckling pig underground, it's beautiful to watch it go underground, but you never know how it's going to come out. <laughs> Every time it's different. You don't have a thermometer to, you know. Oh, yeah. So it's a guessing Just game. Just by experience. Okay, he's going outside. Oh, he's heading off into the forest. Oh, to cut some more herbs, okay. Oh, what is this one? Questo è lentischio. Oh, okay. Questo è lentischio. Senti, senti l'odore. Ah, an aroma? Senti. Oh, nice, okay, that's another herb, another aroma. Senti. Yes. He's a, he knows everything about the land here. I love his hustle. Man, he just works so fast. He's sprinting around. We'll only get half of it in the video. No, he knows. He's a man on a mission. He knows what he's doing. So he's covering it. Incredible. Oh, it smells so festive. Yeah, that's amazing. He just ran to the bush, cut down half the bush, and he's wrapping the pig in an entire bush of branches, fresh green branches, so that it protects. Yeah, they're very aromatic, yeah. It's festive, almost festive smelling. It's a straight bush bundle. The challenge of doing suckling pig is that it's not only the weather, you know, the different time of year, the, the temperature of the air, but it's the, it's the humidity in the soil. It's, there's so many different variables. You never know how the pig is going to actually come out. So mm. what he's trying to do right now is he's just trying to figure out with what the soil is this time of year, his fire, you so know, he's and just, he's just kind of, you know, he's doing just making all the... an experience calculation. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, it is. Oh, so you're going to taste this oil. Okay. It's a very expensive oil. It's, uh, we use it for medicinal purposes. Oh, this is mastic, though, too? Yes. Oh, okay. this, is, this is mastic. This is the mastic berries, okay. Yes, yes. And you can eat them, too? It's very, very... Yeah, 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 go ahead. The mastic berries, my first time. We use it um, for skin, mm. rashes and birds, and for stomach, upset stomachs. Oh. We use it for horses when they have a... It's wonderful. A, a little bit bitter. Yeah. A little bitter and a little... 
little pepper, yeah. Oh. Oh, that crackle. Oh, the pig. Oh, the pig. Oh. Wow. Goodbye, the good piggy. Thank you. We love you. Oh, and that immediately, he's covering it with earth. Has to work really fast too, yeah? Mm -hmm. You want to kill that flame immediately. And just get that steam and vapor. Oh man, the pig is in. It's covered. But the process is not over. Now they're covering it with more logs. More fire goes on. And it's supposed to cook for 12 hours. Whoa. Looks like it might be fire on the bottom, fire on the top. Well, of course, we handpick our grapes. Semidano, or in the, in the Sardinian dialect, semidao. That's the wine? Yes. Salute, Trigo. Yes. Salute. 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 What is it? That's a reason for celebration. Oh, that's refreshing. It's really good. Mm. Now all you can do is wait. Now we have a, I think a six hour wait until the pig will be ready. In the meantime, we're gonna eat a lot of snacks, uh, hang out and just enjoy the beautiful night countryside in Sardinia. This is something truly, truly special. It's just, when you're here, you just feel the, this immaculate nature peace. And it's, it's almost this unexplainable feeling of history and nature and land preservation and pastures. And it's kind of unexplainable, but something truly, truly magnificent. Goat salami. Goat salami. Never had goat salami before. This is the stomach of the, of the goat. Awesome. The salami. The stomach of the goat. Yes, the, the, the covering, you know. Wow. Questo è prosciutto di capra. Questo uh, goat ham. Goat salami. ham. Prosciutto di capra. Questo uh, prosciutto di maiale that's, selvatico. That's regular uh, wild uh, uh, pork. Uh, that's a uh, uh, goat sausage. It's time for the forbidden cheese of Sardinia. Oh man, it's alive. You can smell it. They have to warm up a bit because they're cold now, so they're, they're a little slow, but once they wake up, they'll start jumping all over the place. Wow, look at that texture. Looks like butter almost. A bed bug? A bed bug it looks like a, butter because a they, they kind of weave in and out, you know. Stanno già partendo, eh? Come si riscaldano perché adesso sono al freddo lì. So one of the things I was really most interested to try coming to Sardinia is this type of cheese. And it's called Kazumarzu. 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 And John's going to really quickly give us a little briefing about it and what it is and how it's made. So Kazumarzu is the traditional Sardinian shepherd's cheese. And this is a cheese which is made, you basically, when you make a form of cheese, you put little holes in it and you put it up on a shelf for the fruit flies. These, these little fruit flies come and they lay their eggs here. And then, then you get this, they actually work the cheese and make this wonderful cheese called Kazumarzu. And you cannot go visit a Sardinian shepherd and he will always have this. At and the is, it, is it made from sheep milk? Yes, it's a sheep, I mean, it's a sheep cheese. It's and how sheep's milk. how long does it take to to ferment or ripen? It takes about a month. Okay, okay. And and the signature is that it always has the the live flies Absolutely. worms within it. Absolutely. And Kazumar, so you see, we keep it in a bag because the worms. This is cold still, but the worms will start jumping up, and they, you will have you'll have them all over you. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. Okay. Maggot cheese. Wow, good. I didn't know I loved maggots so much. Place, place the <laughs> Your Oh, 
Oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh, man. That's incredible. Almost has this ammonia that fulfills your, your face. Michele says, it gets your saliva going, and it's very persistent. It's a long mm. taste. As a matter of fact, in oh, three yeah. hours, you'll still be tasting it. <laughs> That is the Marshall, ultimate saying, fermented cheese that you'll <laughs> ever taste. In a couple hours, you'll wow. still be tasting it. That is unbelievable. Wow. It's harsh. It's bitter. bitter. Strong. Yeah. What do you yeah, think, Eduardo? So good. Yeah, it's yeah, very harsh. It, not for everybody. It's, it's very, very good. good. It's intense. Go on, go on, go on. Those are the, those are the live worms, the maggots. Within the cheese. Within the cheese. Yeah, I can see him moving around. Well, to my understanding, it's actually illegal, but it's not enforced because it's such a huge part of Sardinian culture and everybody, literally everybody, I mean, Sardinia is a culture of shepherding um, and everybody loves it, everybody enjoys it. And so that's also why it's called forbidden cheese. So it's the stomach of the kid. It, it's, you take out the stomach, you empty it, you put in freshly squeezed milk and you, then you put back the, the little, the stomach, the stones in the stomach which give off the rennet and then you uh, cure it in salt and then you're ready to go. These are two dishes which you always will have at you the table. Cheese with worms eh. and cale carabito. It's in the stomach. Yeah, this is very hard to find. Uh, in, in, uh, in the market, for example, it's extremely hard to find. Dami sete otto cookies. It's something that you eat with the shepherd. So we're trying the next cheese. Grazie. Stomach cheese. Oh. Yeah, that's borderline yogurt. Like, really <laughs> creamy. <laughs> oh, man. That is intense. It's almost, it's almost fizzy on your tongue. Oh, man, that's... Unbelievable flavor. You can just taste it's alive. Man, both of those cheeses are two of the most intense cheeses you'll ever taste in your life. And really just straight up Sardinian shepherd cheese. Unbelievable flavors that, I mean, you can taste that that flavor is just gonna be embedded onto your tongue maybe until tomorrow. I mean, your tongue goes numb. <laughs> it goes numb, yeah. Your, your, your I have a little numbness on my tongue, yeah, literally. Salute. 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 So, mm. so we're sitting down first before the pig for some snacks. I've never had goat, goat ham and goat salami. And then those cheeses are just unbelievable, just like mind-blowing flavor. Let's try some of the, I think this is the goat, the goat, goat salami. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Goat salami is amazing. It melts in your mouth. Mm. It's like cherry nut. One of the great cheeses is this sheep stomach cheese, which we tried. And the texture, look at, I mean, it's almost like, it's like the texture of sticky peanut butter. But fermented in the, the kids or the, the baby goat's stomach. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, I mean, Oh, wow. It literally just goes into your brain. Oh, man. The cheese is almost intoxicating. Just totally straight to your brain. <laughs> Am I turning, turning into a... <laughs> turning green? <laughs> turning into a shepherd? <laughs> With every bite of that cheese? Yeah. We've got the next, the, the Casa Marzu, again, another bite of the, the live maggot cheese. It's the most, one of the most intense things you could put in your mouth. Oh man. Actually, it's kind of sweet and nutty. 
Right? Yeah. Totally. Man. Just, again, just like a little caramely almost. But like, like just mind blowing flavor that goes to your brain. The only thing I can think of that I've eaten that even that is almost similar actually is this two year old, um, you had the two year fermented stinky tofu? Oh yeah. Two year old, <laughs> two year old, it, it's, it tastes like, oh man, that's almost what it, it's actually very similar. Oh yes, it's time for pasta. And this is a special type of pasta, uh, which is from Sardinia. Oh man. Oh, that is so good. Tomatoes, the cheese on top, the texture of the pasta, which they say these are uh, little rings or almost like an earring. The chewiness. Mm. It's almost midnight and it's time. Man, there's still so much heat in there after six hours. There it is. Oh. Oh. Wow, look at that smoke. Wow. The aroma of those baked leaves and branches smell incredible. Good. Good? Good. Perfect. Perfect. No, it's herb. It's the herb with mouse herb. You don't have it. No. Tira. Man, those herbs smell incredible. The bay leaves, the mystique. Yeah, did you notice the garden shears? Yeah. That's awesome. I like it. I like it. I like it. The metal, the wire cutter. The metal cutter, yes. Oh, the other four. Just one second. Just one. One. Wow. Oh, wow. the rebar cutter. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, that's it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh man, man, the smoky, mm. the herbs. You can taste every single. Yeah, you can taste those herbs like just embedded into the meat. Oh, it's so good. Wow. Perfect. You don't want to keep that even that one more minute. Perfecto. Mm. <laughs> yeah, perfecto. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That is insane. It melts in your mouth. It's cooked perfectly. And again, the herbs just totally transform the flavor of that. Oh, man. That was worth the wait. Unbelievably tasty and earthy and smoky. Mm. Mm. What a man using garden shears and just feeding us bite by bite. Just keeps coming. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it's juicy. It's. <laughs> I got it, I got it. It's herbaceous. I've never had a pig like that. No, it's totally unique. Unique. Every now and then you get a little bit of soil, and even that tastes good. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is like the real The meal. volcanic soil of Sardinia <laughs> even tastes good. Oh man, what an incredible day. I absolutely love the people, the food, the lifestyle of Sardinia. I wanna say a huge thank you to Eduardo, to John, to Michaela, and to everyone for hosting us today. It's been 
outstanding. And I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for lots more Italian food coming your way. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss it. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Sardinia.